What it do you two? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Division 2. But real quickly, before we get into all that, guys, friendly reminder that if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell if you guys enjoy the video. But with all that being said, guys, we're going to hop right into it. Now, earlier today, over on Reddit, some of the Division 2 devs, they decided to make a community post kind of telling us what we were to expect in the next coming patch and things like that. Things that we could generally expect to get fixed and things that they had planned for the future. Some of those things being anywhere from the fix to the True Patriot gear set, as well as fixes to NPCs T-posing and players getting stuck. But two things popped out to me that I really wanted to address to you guys and have a conversation with you guys about, and that is changes to skill builds and armor builds now um skill builds they talked about how they're kind of underwhelming and require too much of an investment and a skill power now they already made an adjustment to this in the last patch guys if you guys didn't know they kind of brought it down even more so than they were but right now the problem is is that you have to either have an all-in skill build or at least a mid-tiered skill build to use any of the high ends or higher uh type of mods or, well, they're morally high ends. I think, well, the purples are kind of expensive when it comes to skill power, too. But that's what you we're talking about in this one. So they kind of go further to elaborate that saying that they will, in the next patch, they will... What they're going to do is they will provide in the next patch ways to craft blue skill mods to provide options for low skill power level builds. To further the recent rebalance was somewhat conservative in terms of power level of the mods, and we recognize that currently they don't represent enough impact for the sacrifice made in other stats. We'll be enhancing the effects of mods across the board in this next update. Our hope is that these further adjustments will make both full-on and hybrid skill power builds more viable. So, not only will there be an option for people with lower skill power builds, because some people don't really want to focus on the gadgets, sometimes they just kind of want to focus on, you know, how much damage they do with their weapon and how much their survival ability is well they're going to make it not only more worthwhile for you to have a skill hybrid type of build but it's also going to make it so you guys can have a couple of options to make your general items a little bit better so you're not just out there in the water because i know that i personally have uh most of my builds are generally you know armor and damage and will have maybe like a four inside of this skill power uh which any range is anywhere from 400 to like 500 and so having a little bit of a buff you know on my flame turret which you guys will probably see in my channel if you guys have been watching my channel you guys know i use the flame turret a lot i actually used to use it a lot inside of the division one too so it's just kind of a return to form for me but either way the effect that i could have you know increased cooldowns or things like that and it ultimately be more effective with not only my gadgets but with you know my survivability and my damage is also really cool and i've been thinking about making a full skill power build anyways so that would make being a healer build even cooler than it already is so there's that also they talk about how tanks don't feel viable as armor and health doesn't seem to be uh, seem to provide enough benefit and sustain in the upcoming patch we're going to overhaul a large amount of talents further we plan to increase the scale of defensive stats when they roll on gear making each picked defensive role much more impactful finally we're looking at balancing especially in high higher difficulties across the board to adjust both lethality and time to kill on the enemies for better experience with more viable build options the changes to defensive stats and the further adjustment to skill mods we hope will also contribute to healing being more valuable and efficient thing to do for your team so they want to make it so you guys are going to be able to have more fun in pve content not necessarily making it easier but definitely making it so your build is actually your build you don't have a railroad is healing your team or whether it is just being generally pretty tanky and trying to gather aggro for you know the people on your team and things like that i very much would enjoy a uh, armor build i've been working on one currently uh, with the gear sets that I got from my true patriot even though the I don't know if I mentioned earlier but the uh, the first two set like the two set pieces doesn't work so you know that bonus armor isn't working uh, or bonus damage to armor isn't working but I've been working on trying to make a higher tank build that actually you know tanks and I've seen a little bit of progress in that but like they said it's not as viable as I would want it to be so I'm definitely glad they're looking into making tank builds a little bit more of a, a thing that we can use and a thing that we can feel good about when we use it and not feel like we are 
not actually doing what we made our build to do so and i'm excited to see what they do with the talents maybe some talents will be completely reworked and some of them will just be adjusted but i am very excited to see the new talents and things like that i want to um talk about builds as soon as that video as soon as that update comes out so you guys stay tuned like i said if you guys enjoyed this video enjoyed the information make sure you guys do click that sub button so you guys can be up to date on all of my newest uploads and with that being said guys i hope you guys have a nice wonderful rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next one peace